from orbit, Uranus gives little away. But plunge below its placid-looking clouds, and you encounter a world that's anything but. So let's imagine I was riding an atmospheric probe that's being sent down into the planet Uranus. Open your spacecraft window here, and you'll quickly feel where the ice giants get their name. In the upper atmosphere, frozen crystals of methane mix with hydrogen and helium. We might pass some of these towering anvil clouds that we know are there. And as we looked at those, we would look for the lightning, we would listen for the thunder that accompany them. Free falling here is like descending into a giant green gelato. But the deeper you go, the thicker and hotter the atmosphere. Temperatures heat up to thousands of degrees. Heat left over from when the planet formed. Eventually, the pressure just builds and the gas becomes basically a fluid or a liquid. And there's no real transition. It's just a continuous increase in pressure and density. Keep descending, and you'll soon start to boil in a seemingly bottomless sea, more than 2,000 times deeper than the Pacific Ocean. Somewhere down here, a little more than halfway to the planet's center, Uranus's lopsided magnetic field flutters into life. If you could see down to the surface of the dynamo core where the field is generated, what you might see is parcels of fluid moving about. And uh, it's, it, they're generally so conductive that those parcels of fluid would drag field lines with them. Why Uranus's magnetic field is generated here and not in the core, no one really knows. No person or robot has ever been down here. If we could get even further, we might get to a core, but we're not sure. Isn't that interesting? We aren't sure if Uranus has a core. Down here, one thing is certain. With a planet load of water and gas on your back, and in temperatures of more than 4,200 degrees Fahrenheit, no life, or robot, will last long. There'd be no chance of surviving under those conditions. A probe going into the atmosphere would eventually actually evaporate and become part of the atmosphere that it was studying. 